I've shown you how to navigate, move the camera, duplicate, and rotate, and scale, but I showed all of that to you in object mode. Now we're going to check out edit mode. Before we do, you have to have the object selected that you want to edit. Uh, so I'm going to have the cube selected, and you can select it in the, let's see, looks like I need a second object to unselect it. All right, so do make sure that you have the cube selected. Now I'm going to go into edit mode. You can also press T to switch between, uh, tab to switch between object and edit mode. I know I'm in edit mode because I can see the points and edges, or vertices and edges and faces. I like to call them points and lines and planes, but they're vertices, edges, and faces. In edit mode, I still have grab, rotate, and scale. So let's start by grabbing one of these vertices, G. And again, the direction my camera's facing determines the way in which this will be grabbed and deformed. Control Z undoes it. If I look straight down one of the axes and grab, now I can grab it and I have a little better control in this way. And if I only want to move it on the Y axis, I press Y and that locks it into that axis right there. I did allude to snapping. If you press control, it'll snap. So I can, you can get a little more precision that way. And maybe I want to move this one as well. So I can go, there we go. G to grab, Y to set the Y axis only. And if you want them perfectly lined up, you're going to have to use snapping to line them up on the grid. You can also zoom in really far, G to grab, Y. So if they're not lined up perfectly, you can zoom in really far, G, Y, and go there. Uh, but let's say for whatever reason uh, that's tricky, we can go snap to a vertex. Closest, I believe, snap with closest. So G to grab. Now I don't have anything um, axis locked out. I'm pressing control. And if you look, it just snapped. Boom. That may not be what you want, however. So one way to fix it, G to grab. X, so I'm fixed on the X axis, parallel with the X axis. And if you look here, I want to move one, oops, not one, but negative one in the X axis. So G to grab X, negative one. That didn't work. Undo. All right, you can always undo. So G to grab X to lock on the X axis, and I'll just press one, and that'll move me halfway there. All right, so that's how to move things around. Now, if you want to go back, you can obviously undo a lot of this. You can also select both of these, the G to grab on the Y, and I'm using control, oh, but I've set it snapping to points. I don't want it to snap to points. I want it to snap to increments, and I'm going to do absolute grid snap. So now G to grab Y, and you do need to hold down control, and now it'll snap right there. And the grid you can see uh, down here, I believe it's in a one meter grid right now. All right, so that we're back to where we started. So that's some snapping. And let's, let's look at duplicating things. Uh, if I duplicate Shift D, what I had selected gets duplicated. Now notice there's still only one cube. Cube is just the original name of it. You could turn this thing into any shape you want. It's still going to be called cube. Uh, you can right click. Oh, that's not where. All right, so if you, I think, click twice, you can edit the name right there. All right, if I delete this, you can hit the delete key or the X key, either one. If I delete edges, watch what happens. That's not what I wanted. Only edges. Only edges and faces. You'll be, you'll be left with the points. So there's lots of different choices for delete right here. And if I, and I just did undo a couple times. If I delete vertices, it deletes the vertices and everything between them. So let's go ahead and start deleting stuff. So I've selected the whole top here. X to delete. If I delete vertices, look what happened. It deleted the four vertices and everything attached to them. So not just the four edges I've selected, but also the four vertical edges got deleted as well. So the only thing that's really kept is what's on the bottom. 
If you just want to delete the top face, hit X, and you want to go only faces, now we remove the top of our box right there. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to try edges and faces. And look at that. It deleted the edges, the four edges I had highlighted. And because the faces used one of those edges, the face disappeared as well. So only edges and faces. There you go. So lots of different ways to delete. All right. Let's go ahead and rebuild this. So I have both vertices selected. I'm gonna press F to fill, which basically connects them. Don't wanna to get too geometrical, but a zero, vertices are zero dimensional objects. An edge is a one dimensional object. So when you connect or when you fill the space between two vertices, you fill it with an edge. Now, if you look, there's two faces missing off this box. So how do I rebuild those faces? Highlight all four on the top and press F to fill. And now I've rebuilt the top of the box. And you want to be careful. If I press F to fill right here, I'm going to fill. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's probably not exactly what I want. Uh, actually, it did do what I want. I'm looking down here. The faces says six out of six right there. And that is how many faces I want on this box, but I think it's a little bit dangerous to do that. So what, the way I usually do this, I maneuver the camera in a position so when I do a box select, I actually can select everything I want. If that's not possible, you can press shift, hold down shift, and select lots of different things. And if you over select, you can keep holding down shift and click again, it'll select and it will unselect. And now I can fill and fill that in. So hopefully this helps out. Uh, the next video I'm going to cover extrusions, which are pretty neat. And we're going to compare that to duplicating.